Welcome to the Two Minute Drill. I'm your host, King Creole, and I'm back again to talk to you about two of your legends' ultimate pack in games. Those two games are Burning Rubber and Lock and Chase. Burning Rubber, released in 1982, is an overhead driving game where you jump or bump enemy cars for points. The goal of this game is to drive to the end of the level while bumping enemy vehicles into the sides of the track. Also jumping over large obstacles such as bodies of water. What makes this game difficult folks is the bird's eye view. Players cannot see large obstacles until it's too late to jump. Although there's help, there's a flashing exclamation point on the screen when large obstacles are about to appear. If you can make it through the level without bumping or destroying any cars, you receive a 50,000 point bonus. How many of you can get that 50,000 point bonus? It sure give you a boost on the leaderboards. <laughs> Next game we're going to talk to you about is Lock and Chase. Lock and Chase was released in 1981 and it's a maze game, kind of like Pac-Man. The goal is to try to eat up all the dots. The game's protagonist is a thief. The object of the game is to enter the maze, collect all the coins, and if possible, any other treasures that might appear on the screen. The thief also must exit the maze without being apprehended. That puts a twist on this. You can't just walk in here and eat up all the dots. Once you eat up all the dots, you gotta make your way out. The thief can close doorways within the maze in order to temporarily trap the police which is called the Super D, and allow them to keep their distance, social distance, from the Super D. Only two doors can be closed at a time, so be careful, folks.